Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Samantha. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing hair growth oil. So even if your hair is growing, but if you want your hair to grow faster, you want to thicken up your hair so that you have thicker, fuller hair, then this oil is for you. I've been using it and I've seen a dramatic change. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe comment like and also sign up for notifications so the first ingredient is going to be hibiscus now hibiscus is mainly used as a conditioning agent so that um, it gives your hair shine and also just to make it softer however hibiscus can actually improve the rate at which the blood flows and that is the key to hair growth if you can improve the blood circulation you are going to boost hair growth because when you improve the circulation in the scalp, you're going to improve um, the deposit of nutrients and oxygen to the, to the follicles. And the follicles need the nutrients and um, the oxygen. So that's why hibiscus can really help with hair growth in addition to things like um, conditioning the hair and also uh, delaying premature hair graying. The next ingredient is rosemary, which has been used extensively in the natural hair community. And also, even with people who don't have natural hair, people with relaxed hair, because rosemary can definitely improve scalp circulation. And um, it has actually been shown through science to be as effective as minoxidil, which is used to regrow hair. So this oil is not only going to increase the rate at which your hair grows it's also going to help your hair to grow back in bald patches because um, of that rosemary another ingredient which can help to increase scalp circulation is curry so the curry leaves they can help to do this intensely so you get this intense scalp circulation a boost of nutrients and oxygen to the hair follicles and that's why this oil can really help with all these things. So the curry leaves to some extent will help hair to grow back in bald patches. They're not going to be as effective as rosemary however when you use them together with rosemary because of that intense scalp circulation that it uh, delivers um, using them together will actually help them to boost each other's potency um but and also just to make sure that it's clear that we're not using the curry powder that you find in shops which is a mixture of spices we're just using um curry leaves the herb called curry so the first thing we're going to do is to blend the um, ingredients into a powder because i just find you get better results that way because you get a powder um, it helps with the absorption of the oil and therefore the release of the nutrients into the oil versus just adding them as they are. Um, so I would recommend using a blender or if you've got a coffee grinder, that's even better. I wouldn't recommend using a pestle and mortar just because um, it's quite tricky to grind hibiscus flowers into a powder with a pestle and mortar. Um, so use a blender or, or coffee grinder. If you already got hibiscus powder, then um, you know, lucky you because that's going to make your job even easier. Um, I would then add less of the hibiscus. I would probably add about half a tablespoon um, with a tablespoon of rosemary and a tablespoon of curry leaves so as you can see i'm just going to blend them into a powder it doesn't have to be a really fine powder um just something smaller than the original size is going to help So now that I've blended my ingredients into a powder, I'm going to add um, all of that into a jar. So it needs to be a heat resistant jar because we're going to warm this up um, over the stove. Um, I prefer to heat the oil up initially because that just helps the, the infusion. However, if you're not into using heat at all, then you can just store this away um, for a few weeks. So I'm going to add um, half a cup of a penetrating oil into the jar. So it needs to be a penetrating oil because you want it to be able to penetrate the skin and go into the hair follicles. Um, so a good 
penetrating oil is something like grapeseed. Um, alternatives are almond oil and olive oil and also um, coconut oil. If you're going to use coconut oil, I'd recommend you use fractionated coconut oil because that um, stays as a liquid rather than just, you know, regular coconut oil, which can solidify um, after a while, although it doesn't really matter, to be honest, you can still use it. It's fine. So, um, now that I've added my oil, I'm just going to mix it really well. Um, and then put that jar into the pot. So the next step is to warm up this mixture in a hot water bath. So I'm just going to put some water into the pot um, and then put the jar in. You'll see me putting a cloth underneath the jar because that just helps to stop the clattering. <laughs> I did a short on that just explaining what I'll be doing. Um, it's not absolutely necessary. It's not going to add anything to the oil, but it just uh, helps stop, you know, that clattering sound that you get, which is quite irritating. Um, so... We're only going to warm this up for five minutes, not longer than that, because we don't don't want to destroy the nutrients. OK, um, if you don't want to use heat, that's absolutely fine. You just put that away for about four weeks. Um, but I find that if you use a little bit of heat, just warming up for five minutes, you're going to help with your infusion, make it faster and also more effective, because what will happen is that the herbs will expand, absorb the oils, and then um, when they release the oils as they cook, Cooling down, um, you just get all of the nutrients, so a much more potent oil. So after five minutes, we're just going to take it off the stove and then allow it to cool down. And then once it's cooled, I'll put it into a dark cupboard. Every now and again, you need to shake it up. We're going to infuse this for a minimum of two weeks. The longer you infuse it, the better. So if you can infuse it for four weeks, even better. So as you see that the herbs will settle at the bottom, most of them, but there'll still be some of the rosemary floating um, or some bits of the rosemary and bits of the curry leaves floating in there. So I always find it um, helpful to strain the oil that you're going to use. So I'm not straining everything. I'm just going to strain as much as I need to use um, on this occasion. But it's perfectly fine to strain all of the oil. Um, and then you just have a nice clean oil. Um, yeah, it's not really going to hurt if you get bits of the powder or bits of the herbs on your scalp and your hair. But it's just more difficult to get out uh, when it comes to washing your hair. So that's why I prefer to strain it. Um, and I'm just using an empty tea bag, nothing fancy, but you can use whatever you've got this um, finely woven to make sure that it catches all the particles. And then you end up with a nice clean oil. So this oil, like all the other hair growth oils that I've shown you how to make, it's very, very versatile. It can be used as a um, hot oil treatment. You can also just use it as an overnight um, scalp treatment. So you apply it to the scalp the night before your wash day, then wash it out the next day. Um, you can also add it to hair growth butters um, to make a hair you know, hair growth butter, so just add it to things like shea butter, etc. Um, so it's really, really versatile. However, I find that the most effective way to use it is um, for scalp massages or as a scalp emollient. So that's what I prefer to do. I just apply it to my scalp and then leave it in until the next wash day. Um, so I know you may be worried because we've added curry and things like that. Is it going to smell like a curry? Are you going to walk around smelling like a curry? I promise you, you are not going to walk around smelling like a curry. You actually just get the rosemary coming through, um, which is really, really nice. I love the smell of rosemary. It's really soothing and relaxing. So the most effective way, apply this to your scalp and then massage. If you've got a protective style that you need to be more gentle, of course, you can't um, massage vigorously, but you can use this um, you know, if your hair is loose, you get a better scalp massage that way. Um, if you want to know, you know, of a scalp massage that is targeted, um, 
So that's specifically for hair growth. I did a video showing you how to do that and I'll put a link to that video in the description box below. Um, but just making sure it's all over your scalp and just massaging gently is still going to be effective. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. Um, before I go, thank you so much to all my subscribers. You're really helping this channel to grow and I love you guys for it. Um, if you are watching this video, you have not yet subscribe then go ahead and subscribe and also help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by uh, sharing the video with other people and asking them to come over to the channel and to subscribe um, make sure you ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos and also I would appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up because that helps to boost um, the video on the algorithm so I'll have another video for you real soon. Until then, take care of my lovelies and take care of your loved ones. God bless and bye for now.